you a bump and run lesson. This is an alternative way to use the bump and run, an alternative way to chip. And the only thing you're going to do is make a few adjustments. The first adjustment is going to be you're going to have the toe down. Not flat like you normally do because the, most people that have the club flat, they wind up digging the heel into the club and stumping it. You ever notice that? So I want you to, I want you to give this a try. Lean the toe down where the toe is down and the heel is off the ground, okay? You're going to be able to brace it in here, a legal brace, right up in here. And the only thing you're going to do is move your triangle and then chip it on there. Give that a try. That's going to be the first thing you do. Make sure the toe is down and move your triangle. Okay? Toe is down and move your triangle. Get in the hole, baby. Toe is down and move your triangle. Okay. Toe is down and move your triangle. Even missed that one, but that one made it go in the hole. All right, toe is down and move your triangle. Okay, let's go up here and see this little group in the balls, okay? That's not bad, is it? You know? Look at that grouping, all right? So again, let me give you the keys to this. There's only two keys you need to worry about. The toe of the club is gonna be down, which is gonna lift the heel off the ground, and you're gonna move your triangle together. Dr. Blades for life at gmail.com. Keep grinding. Take this to the practice tee. I can guarantee you if you drill down on this one, your up and downs are gonna become better. Look at this grouping right here. It is a hell of a way to play golf and it's a great way to improve your bump and run, your chipping and your short pitch shots. Keep grinding, leave your comments below and most of all, have fun out here on the golf course, okay? Cause somebody right now is at work wishing they was out here on the golf course. Take care.